Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vespio. I am doing another live con video. And we have done map control. We've done flag aggression. So this one, of course, is going to be on defense. The, uh, the third and... Well, I guess not final. I was about to say final. Definitely not final. So for defense, the first thing I do is I push up because obviously I want to see where these guys are coming from, what routes they're taking, and I want to get a couple quick easy kills for my Titan. So I'm going to play out a little bit. Jesus Christ. So many shotgun shots. So it looks like a lot of them are crowding the middle and even going towards like the left side of it. So that's certainly somewhere we can go. So now the base is kind of clear. Again, I want to get back to the pushing out part. I got him a little bit. Jesus. See all that blood come off that motherfucker? Alright, so this guy's got the flag. I need to cut him off at his base. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make this. Damn it, I didn't make it. I'm not gonna make it out of here either. Maybe I am. Maybe I can give these guys the, the whoop de wop Oh god, I hit the top. Oh, I fucked up this one completely. So, hopefully base is clear, but I doubt it. We're gonna make sure Stim comes up. Yeah, I should have expected that shit. Alright, so the shotgun's not working against this R97. But oops. But, uh... I'm going to switch it up a little bit. So, now that we got our Titan, we're going to play defense because we're on the weak side for sure. And it looks like nobody's coming yet, so that's obviously good. We are going to cluster our flag base since we know our guys. Jesus Christ, do I really do that? That is craziness. Oh, more hit markers, please. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. At least it gave enough of a distraction to let our flag carrying Titan run by. Which, by the way, if you're running right by a Titan and you got the flag on your back and there's another Titan and you can like help kill it, please help kill it. Not helping to kill it is like really annoying and really retarded. So as defense, it's usually our job to go get the flag back. So we did that. And of course there's another guy waiting because it's just one of them lobbies. So we're going to go for it. Looks like he's nuke ejecting on the flag. The God. Always enjoy the uh, perfect tracking. This guy is going the wrong way. Oh, he's also lagging, so he's got that working for him. So we got a Titan already, we want to drop it because, again, we're playing that defense. We like being in our Titan for defense. That is our happy little home. We always want to be there. So we'll get around this guy. Good 
I kind of didn't want to punch him because it was a guy on our base. It looked like somebody returned that, so that's good for us. I hear somebody getting out of the Titan back there. I don't know if that's ours or whose that is, but I just wanted to make sure our base was clear. So just flung that little cluster missile in there. So back of the base is okay when there's Titans, but when there's a lot of pilots down, we have Titan advantage. We actually want to control the mid. So we're going to push out a little bit, and this is going to allow us to get some some buffer between us and the enemy flag carriers. I mean, this guy, this guy's got nowhere to go. Once he gets mid, he's screwed anyway, so I don't know what he's thinking. But I guess he thought he had like some like super secret awesome map. We're just going to keep clearing Titans, and we're going to guard the flag. And we're going to get rid of anybody who's messing with us. And we're totally fine playing defense from here, because we've got plenty of time to escape or move around or just kind of do what we got to do uh, if they pick up our flag. So this is comfort, because we're super up on Titans. What we really need, though, is somebody to, like, pull this flag and hop on a Titan. Right now, Didac's trying to do that, but he's not doing it very well. Now, we're going to try to cover him. Yeah, we got it. Yay. Part of that was a lucky shot on Oops for show. But, uh, you know, we'll take what we can get, obviously. So... Half is over. We're back to a tie. No problema. So that's just a common spot. I just cluster that because that's a common spot where pilots are a lot of the time. And I just want to shoot it in there to, uh, you know, see if I can catch anybody out. Maybe get a little lucky. So again, defense. Push out first, because we always want to be on the hunt for those kills. And don't over push or don't don't go crazy, but uh, we want to kill him. Uh, God damn it! Uh, so we gotta we gotta stop this forward progression. Get the flag return. All right, so we got that. Now, the only guys that have been used in Cravers have been on the other team. So, we are not comfortable right now. There we go, there we go. So, we saw Oops. He came up through the top. He came up right through this middle. That appears to be the place he likes to go through. So, we're going to kind of camp it. And he came low this time. So, he's changing up his route, as you should do, if you're a good, uh, good flag runner. Now we got smart pistols to deal with. We kind of spawned out in the middle, so we're going to stay out in the middle. Ah, uh, he dropped shit. So now we're going to fall back because our flag runner died and we don't have a way to support him. So again, we're just picking folks off here and there. Kind of stayed in that corner to see if I can juke him, but it didn't really work. Oh, that was weird. He suddenly stopped being able to track us when he took away his ADS. You know, it happens. We got him. Got the smart pistol. Now we gotta move up to protect our flag runner. Just like that. have this problem where people like to come oh my god are you kidding me so I was kind of messing with that Titan and that's not good so 
So we don't want to mess with that shotgun, so we immediately get back into our Titan. So we're gonna guard, we're gonna continue to guard our flag. Okay, he returned it. Now we're gonna reset back to base. And leave that there. Where are we getting hit from? So he's not getting away from there. He's gonna wait out my cluster missile. And then we're just gonna wait for him to pop on out. So it doesn't. Oh, come on! There we go. We're still gonna take him out because luckily he is. Oh god, this is gonna take some strafing. Oh, we got it. Oh, look, we got another flag. Yay. Oh, now we gotta cut him off because this is. Oops, he's gonna be pretty fast. Uh, it looks like he's going that low side. We're just gonna cut right through the middle. This will give us plenty of time to get back to our base. Oh good, he dropped his flag. So as defense, I'm in a position where I can run. So I'm gonna run. I'm gonna take this. This is like perfect. Just a nice clean run. Oh come on, man! Now hopefully they can return in time. That's what this is all dependent on. They can just return the flag. God damn it, they couldn't return it. And I also couldn't kill him. Did I get smart pistols really? Oh, I got smart pistols. Dude, he didn't even lock on to me. That's pretty good. I mean, if I'm going to get smart pistol, that's how I want to get smart pistol. Jesus. Alright, Didax is the king. Alright, got lucky nades. <laughs> he got killed by his own arc grenade. And remember, tighten down, get it down. So we are controlling it. We got a Titan advantage. We're up two caps. We're feeling good. We like this situation. This guy is punching us weirdly. He's just like a little girl that likes to punch the boys that he likes in the fourth grade. Oh, I'm going to get nuked. Oh, yep. That's all right. We're happy. We're happy about this game. We're happy about the defense we've been playing. Oh, Jesus. So we know Arcnades are coming from there. We assume somebody else is going to be coming from that direction eventually. This is Oop's route, so we expect him to be here. Nope, that's not him. Uh, he got killed. Oof. Oof. That guy killed... Ooh, we spawned in base. Okay, so let's just make sure this is clear. Because we're obviously getting pushed up a lot. So, alright, we're happy enough. We don't see anybody coming. We're gonna move up a bit. Now we're gonna stick towards the middle. There was a lot of stuff going on, but um, so I was kind of cheating over that way. But I don't want to fight over that way. I'm gonna help my boys get. Oh, I thought he was gonna come on the zip line, and I was gonna have a, a wing of mana waiting for him. Alright, so if Titan's ready, we need to get that thing dropped. Oh god, I'm dropping it there? That's not where I want to drop it. Alright, 30 seconds left, we should be fine. We've got lots of slaying under our belt. We still want to keep taking the mid, so let's keep taking the mid. Nobody's really pulling our flag, so we're fine there. Occasional cluster missile into their base, never hurt anybody except for the other team. Which we're fine with. I'm going to stay out of Didact's way because we've only got a certain amount of time left and he's got to get that cap. God damn, we didn't get that kill. What the shit? We didn't get that? What? What? <laughs> Holy Jesus. I might have been knocked out, I am. God damn it. 
So that was good. We kind of we helped take control middle. We were still playing defense. Just because we weren't sitting in our base doesn't mean we're not playing defense. Basically, if you're playing defense and you're just sitting on your flag, the way I look at it is you're telling your other team. You're saying, hey, you guys got to go play this game 5v6 because I'm going to sit in our base. I'm going to take myself out of the game. We do not want to do that. We want to we want to help out our mid guys when it's safe. Now, as soon as stuff starts going down to the base, you better get your self, I'll censor myself, get your ass back to that flag. Help people out. Make sure that base is clear. That is your job as defense, is to make sure that base is clear. And if it's not, you got to tell your teammates, it is not clear, I need your help, come back. So, yeah, I think that kind of covers everything. You know, you push out when it's safe, you get back when it's not. And uh, remember, know where they're coming from. Get a feel for where folks are coming in and where they like to hide. That'll help you cut them off and play, you know, hold strong positions. Um, but that should be it. If you have any questions, definitely let me know and enjoy.